was, of course, Marvin Gaye and what go from the Isle of Man Environment Festival, the first time this festival has ever been held. It is in Peel, and if you haven't uh, ventured down here yet, we're just at the end of the promenade. A wonderful backdrop there with Peel Castle. Uh, the sea's looking pretty glorious today as well. Sun is out, um, and plenty going on down here, so do venture out. I've just spotted somebody we know. <gasps> Oh, who's this furry friend? It's actual Duxford. It the is. famous Duxford from Duxford Diaries. Oh, and he's brought Chris with him as well. Hello, Chris Williams. Well, unfortunately, uh, he normally brings me with him, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame because normally he comes on his own. What a fantastic afternoon. Isn't the it lovely? We, we've come to your neck of the woods, yours and Beth's neck of the woods, so it's, it's a bit easier for you to come down and join us today. It is, yeah, because I, I had a leisurely walk about uh, 100 yards <laughs> from, from the house, but uh, I wasn't going to come out earlier on because uh, it's a northwesterly wind and we don't like northwesterlies in Peel. <laughs> we don't like that at all because it blows off the sea straight into us. But, uh, it, you know, the sun's out now, it's lovely, isn't it? It really is, and this festival is all, continuing yeah. tomorrow as well, so if you you are trying to make a point of coming down and seeing these groups of people who've come together for the first time, all with common aims of really sorting out the environment in the Isle of Man. Yes, and uh, the, everyone is, uh, and there's, there's several dogs here, which is very nice to see. By the way, if you do want to check online, if you go onto our Mike's Radio Facebook page, uh, you'll see some video and photos of this, including a lovely little video that we just had of Duxford uh, here with Chris Williams as well. But now we're wandering into this massive tent. There's so many people in here and so much going on. But the first person we really need to speak to is the man who's masterminded this, who uh, we first find out about from uh, Bill Dale himself about this last year at uh, the sort of Niarble event that we had there. And you said, we're going to... Day is finally here, Bill Dale. It is the first Isle of Man Environment Festival. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> and how nice that it's in Peel, I think, because um, I've spent a lot of my time in Peel over the years. I'm, I was born in St John's and spent a lot of my young childhood in Peel and it's just nice to be here I mean look at the place you know the, we're looking out through the window and here's Peel Castle and it's a beautiful afternoon and all these people are here and everybody that matters is here um, and the response that we've had I mean there's not been a huge number of people but we don't we didn't expect a lot today quite a few schools came through this morning we're expecting a few this afternoon but um, the people who've, who've been here just really a bit blown away you know and how nice that they're all here under one roof together for the it first really time. It really is absolutely fantastic. I've seen a couple of politicians so far. Treasury Minister Alf Cannon was here, uh, President of Tim Ward, Steve Roden has also yeah. been through the doors. Yeah. Uh, very briefly just give people an idea of uh, the people who are exhibiting here this afternoon. Well I mean all, all the major people that you would you would really want to be involved. Manx Wildlife Trust, uh, here's Manx Whale and Dolphin Watch, Friends of the Earth. The beekeepers have got a brilliant stand. I mean, they came here and spent a lot of time putting that together, um, and that is absolutely smashing. They've got the, the festival tree that they won. I think, did they win the major award? They won one award anyway at Christmas. And they got samples of honey, and they are a bit special, to say the least. And then we've got the Manx Wildlife uh, Week is being promoted here. Isle of Man stamps have come along, and anybody who, who wants to fill in a free postcard and send it around the world can actually post it here as well. We've got the Manx Bat Group. It's great. And what is your overall aim with this? What do you want the people who come down to see what's on offer here to leave with? You know what, I think there's, there's a couple of aims really. The, the very first intention, based on how successful the little event we had at Niarble was, to show that people can actually do things together rather than just doing them on their own, you know, because it's it's not cheap renting. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing, you know, and this, this is an expensive exercise. And thank goodness Max Telecom are sponsoring this because um, these marquees aren't, aren't cheap to, uh, to get a hold of. But, I mean, first of all, get everybody together under one roof rather than operating on our own. Also, for us to share information between each other, so you know, there's everybody really has got the same sort of common causes about the environment and wildlife and nature. And the other thing is, this is a great chance for people to just come here and see all of these things together. So the members of the public are able to just wander around and speak to as many people as they want to. And, and there's a few little gifts and, and great activities for kids. And so, as I say, a great activity for the, for the weekend for people to pop down here tomorrow. Um, can you introduce us to somebody now then? I know we're going to be speaking to people throughout the afternoon, okay. uh, but who should we speak to first? Let's nominate your we first person. We see uh, Isle of Man Biosphere here okay. and they're, and they're uh, the dealing with, obviously, with plastic pollution. 
the topic these days. So, um, and it's it's actually quite apt, isn't it, that we are in Peel and you've got the sea right beside us because and I was wandering down the beach the other day and the amount of plastic you find on our beaches yeah. and so you know. It's, so it's I mean, and, and these guys uh, have been really, you know, we teamed up with them. In fact, the Beach Buddies logo is on is on their posters. So, um, but we we work closely with with Biosphere for obvious reasons and DEFA. And this young lady here is going to give you a little bit more. Introduce yourself for us. Um, I'm Sophie Costain. I work for the for DEFA. I'm an ecosystem policy officer. <laughs> and what's your main role within that? Um, I deal with wildlife, actually. Um, not really so much to do with plastics or biosphere. I deal with wildlife and conservation and areas of special scientific interest. <laughs> but then having said that, I suppose, when it comes to wildlife, wildlife are affected by this as well, aren't they? You see so many really disturbing images of wildlife are affected by plastics. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it was a really big issue for, for wildlife and it, it impact upon so many aspects of, like, all our lives and wildlife and you know it's a, such a big issue <laughs> so people um, popping into the marquee to come in to see you uh, what have you got on offer here um, we've got um, a variety of kind of games informative games for children such as how long does it will it take to um, degrade not biodegrade so obviously there's difference there's bin or beach so um, so looking in the kind of <laughs> this pit and deciding you know which things on the beach you should put in the bin or which you should keep and um, we've got some information about biosphere how you can sign up to be a biosphere partner and other things going on with biosphere we've also sorry got some information about um plastic nurdles and just various plastic information um about understanding plastic packaging a variety of things wonderful oh thank you so much for talking to us so uh, you can find this stand very very easily it's got uh, all the billboards up behind it yeah just just look for the let's beat plastic pollution signs and come and get involved in some of those great games with the kids it's very educational it really is okay i think we should just take a break for a moment because there's something we need to do well there is something we need to do because we are on a weekly basis getting involved in the Marajaduni challenge which is where phil and simon set us a challenge each week we were accused last week of cheating because we were using the help of the listeners. So I made a bit of an effort this week, Beth, and I went all the way out to St John's to find out about the question that they set us, which was, who is Danny Bewilder? Who created Danny Bewilder? And what was his methodology? Which was a very peculiar question, so I thought the only place I can really find out about this is down at Culture Vannon, which is where I found myself earlier this week.